Good day. Here's the new burner that I just made for my Jensen 75. And it's sitting right next to the Jensen tablet burner, just for scale. It's been running for about two, half an hour now. And how it's doing that is this. That's the fuel reservoir. The tap here is just a shut off so you can refill it without having myths running down the line into the burner. This is what is they call a chicken feed fuel delivery system. I've modified it a little bit. The blue line delivers fuel from the reservoir and the pink line is supposed to return air back into the reservoir. Oops, it just went out. Still needs to be tweaked a little bit. One thing, meth is flushing back through the uh, return line. But uh, all in all, it seems to work fairly well. No leaks. No uh, flare-ups either. It's important that this reservoir be airtight. Otherwise, well, you can guess what'll happen. The burner tray will just flood with meths and we'd have a big fireball. Well, next uh, step is to try it with the Jensen. There's our 75 back there. Not much else to see here. Here's our Jensen 75 running on our new meths burner with the uh, chicken feed fuel system. We've heated the water and run almost half a uh, boiler already. It's been going about uh, 25 minutes. The only weakness of this system is my return line tends to get uh, vapor lock in it. So sometimes we're not getting much fuel coming into the burner. I've got to work the air out of it. And then we usually get a flood of fuel coming in the burner and it flares right up. I don't know if you can see it in there. The problem, I think, is that my return line is right next to my fuel line inside the burner and sitting at the same level inside. And according to the plans I have, the return line should be higher up to allow fuel to pool inside the burner. So, it's not perfect. It'll do for now until I can build a new burner element or tweak this one until it's uh, operable. See if I can pull it out of there. There you go. I had to solder a little plate across the bottom of it because this is a very small brass uh, tubing and the burner was flipping over inside the firebox or had a tendency to. So live and learn. With the proper sized channel, though, I would have to cut the firebox to allow clearance for the uh, fuel lines. Or else try to solder them in through the end cap, which probably would have been difficult to do. In there. Just 
purge the air out of the lines again. We've got a pretty heavy load on this thing right now. Here, we'll take off the uh, drive band for a moment. There. Alright, that's all we have time for.